Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today it is the 20th of April, 2022, uh, where I am in Tokyo, Japan, and it is Wednesday morning. And I understand that uh, some hours ago, the Criterion Collection made announce an announcement on its website with regard to those titles that it plans to release in July later this year in 2022. So if you have any questions or if you want any details about what those titles are, the specifications, the cover art, etc., uh, I strongly encourage you to check out the Criterion Collection website directly for more information. Uh, it's a very interesting bunch of titles indeed. And so uh, if it's okay with you, uh, maybe for today, I'd just like to share with you just some very quick thoughts that I have about it, with the understanding, of course, that when these titles arrive in the mail uh, in July or beyond, then maybe that will give us the opportunity to talk about them in detail and maybe uh, things might change, there might be some adjustments, etc. But for purposes of today, let us, you and I, talk about our initial impressions of these titles that uh, are planned for release by the Criterion Collection in July of 2022. First up, scheduled for release on July 5th, 2022, and this is described as being from 2017, for spy number 1133. And this is from the filmmaker Fong Jun Ho. And the name of the work is Okja. And let me just show you the computer here. So again, if you want to have a better uh, look at the uh, cover art, etc., uh, please uh, don't rely on my very crude presentation here. I apologize for that, uh, but uh, rather instead I strongly encourage you to check out the website directly for more information and specs and the cover art. But this is the planned cover art as of now according to the Criterion website for Okja. Wow, wow. So this is a really wonderful and pleasant surprise. I suppose I should say at the outset that I am not in any way uh, uh, up to date with regard to Criterion rumors, you know, I'm not in the uh, in the know, as it were. So I am the, one of the I am perhaps one of, if not the very last person to get wind of of what the news is down the rumor mill or pipeline, so to speak. So uh, this title Okja was something that. I was no, I had no idea what was coming. Uh, so this comes to me as a really pleasant surprise. Also, as we know, uh, this is uh, a title that, uh, you know, it's in terms of physical media uh, and uh, its context with regard to streaming and Netflix, etc. To have this physical media release from Criterion of all places, this is a really, wow, this is a very exciting thing. Uh, and I know physical media fans uh, and uh, fans of Bong Joon-ho films will rejoice at this news. And to add to that, I think, news, uh, we have uh, the possibilities here of, of three different uh, three different format choices according to the website here. And again, you can see uh, the website directly, but according to the website as it's shown on my computer here, there's a 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo release, which is two discs, or the single disc Blu-ray, or two disc DVD release. So we still have the DVD format still going on. And for titles like this, uh, I would say too that the DVD format still seems to be going on very strong. But we have here also the 4K format being relied upon for Okja, which uh, when I, uh, I don't rely on streaming uh, that much, but uh, but uh, I don't not have streaming services. And in fact, uh, my family uh, and I recently got a Netflix subscription. And so we don't watch Netflix that often, but when we do, uh, it, it's we try to make it a kind of family occasion. Uh, or uh, maybe for uh, our own individual uh, tastes or needs or purposes. For example, uh, there are some titles that uh, were only available to watch on streaming, or I could only watch them through those, uh, those streaming methods. So Oksha was one of them for me. Uh, but uh, to have this, therefore, as a title that I can now uh, rely upon a criterion for 
Uh, this is a really great, great thing indeed. I'm so excited, so thrilled about this. I remember seeing the film and I thought, wow, this is a really, this is a really far out film. A, a very clever, very, I felt very unique uh, in terms of its approach on the one hand, but then uh, when one and considers uh, the Bong Joon-ho filmography, one realizes just how well suited this film is and its themes and its considerations and its, its real uh, thoughtfulness and emotional trajectories, how this fits in so well uh, within the context of Bong Joon-ho's filmography. And I don't consider myself at all of, uh, a, uh, an expert uh, uh, at all when it comes to uh, his great, great filmography, uh, but I have uh, been very fortunate to watch uh, those films in Okja, uh, is a really great film within that context, and it serves this uh, very interesting multi-leveled, uh, multi-messaged type of purpose while having this entertainment flow to it, uh, really a unique blend of, of, uh, sort of spectacle or uh, effects as well as uh, the emotion, uh, which is so key and so, so part of that uh, filmography. So this is really, really exciting news indeed. I'm so thrilled. Uh, and it has, according to the website, a number of, of, uh, of, uh, excuse me, of supplements uh, to check out. So uh, I'm looking forward to this immensely. Uh, and then the 4K uh, option as well, as well as the Blu-ray option and the DVD option as well. So this is very, very exciting all around. Uh, this is for spy number 1133, again for July 5th, 2022. This is the film Okja. Next, scheduled for release on July 5th, 2022, we have a, a new format option availability uh, for a title that currently exists in the Criterion Collection at spine number 920. Uh, and as I say, it currently exists in the Criterion Collection under a currently available Blu-ray option or a currently available DVD option. For purposes of the July 5th release, this is a new format option uh, to be made available uh, for this currently uh, sitting title. And that new format option to be, made, to be made available on July 5th is, I understand, the 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo edition for this film from Sofia Coppola, which is The Virgin Suicides. And again, I apologize for my crew presentation here, but uh, this is the currently existing release and the, the cover art is therefore, I think, going to be unchanged uh, with the new 4K, uh, 4K UHD format uh, release in July, but we shall see just in case. But uh, this is gonna be a great opportunity to uh, check out this film. It says, um, uh, it, it, this is a really, uh, check out this film again, I should say, because this is a film that, uh, I remember it, it kind of crept up on me when it was around the time of its release or a little bit afterwards. I didn't catch up with it until some time after its release. Uh, but when I did, I was uh, mesmerized and I was haunted by it. And it became a type of go-to film for me uh, and uh, my close circle of friends at the time. Uh, and I think that was due in large part to the wonderful uh, absorbing nature of the sweep of the film and the the type of, of hidden sense of almost hysteria which is masked or uh, uh, perfumed in a way by the the haunting and almost ethereal nature of the work uh, guided along uh, brilliantly by the the uh, the directorial hands of uh, Sofia Coppola so uh, this is uh, all in all a a, uh, a truly mesmerizing work, uh, playground love indeed. Uh, just uh, I, I got those uh, the two, uh, uh, I got the uh, uh, different uh, CD soundtracks when they were made uh, on sale at the time, and I just listened to both of them over and over and over again. Just scratched them up so much because of uh, listening to them constantly, uh, because I wanted uh, this constant reminder of this feeling of the atmosphere and the and the beauty. That's associated with The Virgin Suicides, this great film. And so uh, it is my hope that I haven't spoken about this film on this channel, unfortunately, but it is my hope that with this new upcoming format option release, uh, again, uh, for the currently sitting title at spine number 920, this will give us, you and I, the opportunity to talk about this. I'm very, very excited to revisit this uh, in the uh, context of this new 4K option. Uh, and I should say too that we have the 4K UHD Blu-ray combo option to be made available at the beginning of July. But currently we have the Blu-ray disc and also 
the DVD disc. So while we're not talking about a, a, a totally new release from uh, from uh, uh, from whole cloth, as it were, uh, we should be uh, reminding ourselves that we are still talking about a a release that uh, when we get to July will have three separate options uh, format, including the DVD option. And so I know that I and, and many other people uh, are always wondering what will happen to the DVD format in the hands of Criterion. Well, so far, it seems to be a type of selective, uh, uh, selective method of choosing which titles get the D DVD format and which don't. But so far, it looks like the DVD format is uh, still, uh, to a certain degree anyway, still alive and well. So that's very good news because I'm a, I'm a big supporter of the DVD format as well. So, uh, but in any event, uh, this will hopefully provide us with an opportunity to talk about this film in July, which is The Virgin Suicides. Next, scheduled for release on July 12th, 2022, and this is for spine number 1134, uh, described as being a film from 1980, and the filmmaker is Martin Scorsese. And uh, we have 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo or Blu-ray option. There isn't any DVD option here, so I just mentioned the DVD format discussion, but now we have a title where the DVD format does not seem to be made available, but oh well, oh well. Uh, we still get uh, the Blu-ray or the 4K uh, UHD plus Blu-ray combo option for this, based upon what is purported to be a new 4K digital master approved by the director Scorsese, and it is the work which is Raging Bull. Raging Bull. Wow. Wow. Again, I don't have my ear to the Criterion rumor ground, and so I don't know any of these things. I haven't heard about this. Uh, but uh, when the rumbling started to happen around yesterday of what the release might be and, and the like, and I started to hear uh, uh, news from people, Raging Bull was there, and I just was, I was saying, really? Really? Raging Bull? Wow, wow. So, and here it is, Raging Bull, with a 4K option availability to boot. So, um, mm, this is a, uh, I mean, this is a really, really exciting thing. A very, very exciting thing for a number of reasons. Um, well, first of all, uh, we have the, uh, the emergence of a Scorsese work. Uh, in the current uh, physical media catalog of Criterion, which is always great news. It's always great to have more works from Scorsese where possible. We did have, for example, uh, Scorsese shorts, and also we had, um, you know, um, past releases, um, Age of Innocence or Last Temptation of Christ, etc. And uh, now we have, um, or The Irishman, uh, etc. And so now we have Raging Bull as well to uh, to uh, join those uh, those ranks. Uh, and what a film this is! So celebrated. Uh, so artistic, so uh, emotionally moving and powerful and gritty and raw with uh, uh, powerhouse performances to boot. Um, uh, Kathy Moriarty, Joe Pesci, and of course, of course, the one, the only, the great Robert De Niro playing Jake LaMotta here uh, in this tour de force. I mean, his performances are, are usually tour de forces to begin with, but here we have uh, a, a tour de force of tour de forces, if you know what I mean. So uh, what a great great, uh, great news this is. This is also great news, I should say, because, um, as some of you may or may know, this used to be a Criterion Laserdisc, uh, which is right here. This is one of the versions of the Laserdisc released from Criterion way, way back in the day. And so at spine number 120 at the Laserdisc catalog for anyone who's interested. And, uh, this had, uh, so many, um, uh, this had, uh, um, it had uh, a number of features, including a, a what was called an audio essay, but it's a commentary track. And I think, based on the, the website here, I think that commentary track is going to be carried over here as well. So uh, that's very good news indeed. But uh, this is my way of saying that this is another Criterion Laserdisc, Laserdisc title that will be joining the current uh, physical media catalog of Criterion. So that is uh, more great news on top of all this great news that this uh, particular announcement uh, brings with it. So, uh, wow, wow, wow. This is uh, mind-blowing stuff uh, for physical media fans, for Criterion fans, for fans of cinema. Wow, wow, wow. This is mind-blowing stuff. Uh, it was you, Charlie. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to be able to talk about this film, Raging Bull, when it arrives. 
Uh, I again, um, my comments are always going to be very suspect, very, very shallow, very poor. Uh, but I hope that uh, in no way. Uh, uh, in no way sort of uh, uh, deflects or deters from the fact that I'm still very, very enthusiastic about this film. Uh, it is a, a remarkable work. It is also very, I think, uh, it, it's, it has these uh, unique turns as well. I mean, it, it's, I think, very famous for a lot of things for black and white, although there are some moments where uh, the black and white gives, well, I don't want to, they're just remarkable, remarkable moments uh, and the like. So I cannot wait to speak about this film when it arrives. So once again, this is for July 12th, 2022. Uh, it's for spy number 1134. And this is for the film, which is Raging Bull. Also for release on July 12th, 2022. And this is another great, pleasant surprise. Um, this is a film from 1955 from David Lean um, and uh, with uh, Rosanna Brazzi and Catherine Hepburn. This is a title that is from the early, early days um, uh, of the physical media catalogs of Criterion, including right this. The, I mean, the in particular the DVD, you know, which is uh, Spine Twenty Two. So this is from the early, early DVD days. Uh, but uh, now we have this new 4K digital restoration uh, and a new release of this film, which is Summertime. Summertime and my goodness, look at that cover. That sounds that's wow. So this is uh this is really splendid, splendid news as well. We have what might be referred to as an upgrade of a title. Uh, it is Blu-ray or DVD. Uh so again, uh while DVDs doesn't seem to be an option that is for each title, uh it's still available for certain titles, including summertime or the Blu-ray. So uh, whatever you fits your particular needs as a consumer, uh, please uh, note those options. And my goodness, my goodness, as I say, um, I think uh, in my early, early days of this channel, I tried to, or I endeavored to go through the titles of the Criterion Collection from the beginning. And I think I was, I stopped at, sh I stopped short from discussing this work t summertime. So I don't believe I was able to discuss this, unfortunately. So that is my own uh, uh, failing and wrongdoing. Uh, but I was prepared to, and I think uh, in those uh, converse, in those discussions that I was uh, thinking about, I, I had uh, a number of things I wanted to point out in terms of the the locale and the the idea of fate and a chance encounter and uh, uh, this really deep uh, rooted uh, emotion. Uh, to set against the backdrop these very uh, these uh, wonderful and rich locales and uh, uh, the notion of finding uh, finding this type of uh, relationship or companionship and the like and and beyond that as well uh, guided by the great performances uh, of uh, Rosanna Brazzi and um, uh, Catherine Hepburn uh, and then uh, David Lean under the guidance of David Lean so and then the 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 look the feel the atmosphere uh, and the, the the emotion and uh, the feeling. Uh, this is all here. So I'm uh, so, so very, very excited uh, about this. Again, this is a title uh, that is uh, at spine number 22, uh, but we have now the Blu-ray option, and then also it looks like the DVD option, according to the website, will also be made available. Uh, uh, if I'm wrong, please forgive me, but based on my interaction with the website, that seems to be what uh, it appears to me. In either event, we have this new or re return or emergence or upgrade if you will of this new uh, of this title uh, at spine number 22 which is summertime next schedule for release on july 19th 2022 and this is for spine number 1136 and here we have a blu-ray option or a dvd option available so once again the dvd option is being made available for this title great great news there's also the blu-ray blu-ray is described as one disc dvd is described as two discs and this is the work which is uh, described from the year 2021 from Ryusuke hamaguchi and the name of the work is Drive My Car. Drive My Car. I had the great opportunity uh, of catching up with this film rather recently. I also was able to uh, get the, uh, there was a Japanese Blu-ray uh, release of this uh, that was made uh, very recently here in Japan. So I also got that as well. And so I was able to watch it, rewatch it, um, not a lot, but on a number of occasions. And wow. 
Wow, a lot of people uh, recommended this film to me uh, and uh, before I was able to see it and then even after when I was able to see it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to speak about it because actually I must admit I'm still processing and forming my feelings about it even uh, sometime after the fact of my initial view of it. So, But it is so, so textured and so layered and it's uh, there's a sense of the literary ambition but also a sense of human beings and and the feeling of, of of the solitariness of existence or loss and sort of the mystery of knowing uh, other people but also not knowing them at the same time and all in the context of this wonderfully uh, paced well rendered rich emotional experience that is i think uh talking about things that uh, maybe uh, seem to be maybe quite uh, uh, quite distant, but also at the same time very, very close and very immediate uh, from the point of view of uh, the viewer experience, including my own. So there is so much, I think, to unpack here. And so now it is, uh, it, this is planned for July, and now I'm making this video, it's still April, so I will uh, revisit this film on the current, say, Japanese Blu-ray that I have, all the way up to this release and then when this criterion release comes and arrives at the doorstep i will then take that opportunity to watch it again and then uh, see if we can do uh, some more uh, uh, discussion about it or we can uh, i can try to formulate my thoughts about it with more uh, with more uh, sort of a, a, a kind of pointed purpose as it were but uh, i will do my best there is so much i think i, I want to talk about and i as i say i'm still trying to process it it it, it had that really uh, a strong emotional impact. So uh, this, I think, also had been rumored, or it had been kind of announced um, beforehand uh, by Criterion through its uh, social uh, media channels, etc. So uh, this doesn't come to me as any surprise for purposes of today's um, announcement, but uh, that doesn't at all take away from the sheer delight that I feel uh, for purposes of the official announcement. And there are a number of of uh, there are a number of of, um, of supplements here listed, so I'm gonna check my Japanese Blu-ray as well to see uh, when it does arrive to see what the uh, what we can do in terms of a compare and contrast as well. Uh, Japanese Blu-ray, I should say, um, compare and contrast as well. So I am so so thrilled, so delighted, and I join the chorus of people who I know feel the same way about this film have championed this film and still champion this film uh, to this very day and I know for many many years to come uh, it is that monumental it is that uh, uh, significant this is the Hamaguchi work which is drive my car and last but certainly certainly not least this is scheduled for release July 19th 2022 and this is a blu-ray option or a 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo option. No DVD option listed on the Criterion website, so there is uh, yet other uh, points of discussion in the DVD format discussion that I touched upon earlier in this video. But still we have the 4K UHD or the Blu-ray option available for this title, described as being from 1995 for spy number 1135 from the filmmaker Carl Franklin. Carl Franklin work. In the Criterion Collection, and it is this devil in a blue dress. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow! Again, this is a film that I was I didn't see in the theater. I I saw it on a rental, in particular at the time. Uh, it was uh, um, you know due to uh, um, uh, the um, um, my uh, I I was really fascinated uh, with uh, Denzel Washington works. And this is another fascinating one. So Devil in the Blue Dress. I haven't thought about this film in some time. And so I'll try to reformulate my thoughts about it and regather them uh, for purposes of, of when I watch this. Or maybe I should watch it uh, with a fresher take than that and see how I feel and try to compare it after the fact. I'll try to uh, figure out exactly what to do. Or I should just maybe play it by ear uh, and then just watch the film when it arrives because this, uh, this is very, very exciting. Um, it has that uh, type of uh, f uh, maybe 40s LA feel to it. Uh, it has that great look and, and sensibility about it in terms of 
of of type intrigue and and mystery and the like. So, um, uh, as well as uh, this hard boiled nature, as well as uh, dealing with very sp uh, specified and well well uh, rendered. Uh, themes and uh, discussion points of a broad nature. So there's so much uh, richness here. It has that noir feeling as well. Oh, this is so good. Cannot wait. Carl Fine can work uh, in the Criterion. This is in the physical media catalog. This is so wonderful. Uh, I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, so I'm not a familiar, uh, I admit, and I'm ashamed to admit, I'm not familiar with the you know, the past uh, release history of this film. So, uh, so I can't uh, speak to that uh, with any great detail, but I, I can say that uh, this is a very, very uh, welcome news for me. I'm very excited uh, to see how also the 4K uh, uh, format will be handled uh, for purposes of this and also exploring the supplement. So, oh my goodness, uh, the opportunity to talk about devil in a blue dress uh, on this channel. So uh, I will try my best not to disappoint with my comments uh, in terms of their their uh, uh, their, their lack of depth. Uh, but uh, I will also at the same time uh, try to express just how enthusiastic I feel about this and the, and the like. So devil in the blue dress. Uh, devil in the blue dress. This is great. So this is again scheduled for release July 19th, 2022 for spy number 1135. Okay, so that is a very exciting lineup, uh, if I do say so myself. They always are exciting lineups, I should say, but this one has a type of sparkle, a type of fireworks uh, atmosphere about it. Uh, you know, the uh, July fireworks, I suppose, um, uh, they will be on display for a number of reasons during that month. And I think part of that reason, or one of the reasons, could be said to be, at least on a metaphorical level, uh, for physical media enthusiasts, for cinema fans, Criterion fans, because this month of July, wow, wow, wow. Uh, I don't know, everywhere one goes, there is just the highlight. Or is the the big one? <laughs> All these titles seems to be uh, seem to be uh, each in their own way the big one uh, for the month. So um, I am really really uh, overwhelmed by this. Um, I should note that there is no news yet as far as a type of collector set, at least as far as I'm, I recall, maybe if I'm re misremembering the details, I apologize, but um, is there no collector set so far? No box set? I wonder what that means. I haven't heard anything. Again, I'm not good with the Criterion news, as I say, but um, uh, even though that might be the case going forward uh, or up to now, still, 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 the 4K format seems to be uh, alive and well. DVD format still seems to be uh, alive and well in certain uh, uh, titles anyway. And we have the reemergence of past titles versus, uh, um, versus as well as uh, the emergence of new titles. Uh, and my goodness, boy oh boy, what a month this is going to be, the month of July for Criterion. If you have any further questions or do you want to check out the details, check out the website itself directly. The link will be in the description box below. Uh, but if you want to talk about it, if you want to let me know what you feel, please feel free to let me know in the comments section. As always, I would very much love to hear what it is you have to say. But for me, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Fireworks, fireworks abound uh, for July Criterion. Okay, my dear friends, so that's it for now. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much, as always, for your time. I very, very much appreciate it. Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Cheers.